Hi, I'm James Boughton, Managing Director of EDEL. The plan is that I'm going to give you a relatively quick virtual tour of EDEL and our facilities. And the outline plan really is to talk you through the process of, or, or the process that we go through to manufacture our machines. So here we are at the start. This is our 60,000 square foot uh, facility here in uh, Hampshire on the south coast of the UK and I'm going to walk in at the start straight through into reception and we will see here Edel some of our FTA awards on the wall there and samples of the types of products that we produce so we're going to head upstairs straight away this is kind of um, unplanned Forgive people that I bump into uh, if I trip up, but uh, here we go up onto the first floor. Um, I'll take you through into our main office area. So we're really starting to store from the point at which we have received an order from a, from a customer. And the first thing that really happens is the order gets handed over to our projects team. Uh, the projects team basically become the li liaison between customer and our internal team here. So we have a group of three projects engineers which are each handling about 10 projects each. So once projects get hold of it, we then move across into our engineering team where they will be dealing with any special requirements that uh, customers have, um, modifications to modules, complete redesign of modules, but we have a team of I think it's about eight mechanical engineers working on machine projects and we also have a group of four guys and one girl shortly uh, working <laughs> so that's five people working on our control systems and electronics design okay obviously then so once design is complete and the bills and materials are loaded onto our MRP system we then release that to manufacturing and I'm just going to have to take you for a brief walk back down the factory to the start of the manufacturing process. So I may get a little bit out of breath whilst I'm running here because we've got to walk all the way down to the other end of the factory. This camera is getting quite heavy already. So just, yeah, we've been at this factory since 2009. Moved over from our previous site, which was actually an old banana warehouse that we'd occupied for 20 or 30 years beforehand. Um, so we moved here pretty much during the financial crisis. Uh, but fortunately, from a slow start, things started to pick up pretty well for Edel, So. Okay, so we're going to the start of our manufacturing process. So at EDA, we're um, manufacturing quite a bit of our, quite a few of our components now, but uh, we primarily focus on manufacturing or machining the uh, side plates for our machines, which are all made from a cast aluminium tool plate. So we're purchasing blanks, as you can see here. And these blanks are being loaded up onto a nice, Mazak CNC milling machine and you see here a side plate actually coming off for a, an FL5. Okay, maybe I can just have a quick look inside here. There's a blank being loaded up. Ooh. There's Pavel. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Not too bad, sir. Cool, all right. Good stuff. We also recently purchased a new uh, CNC lathe. 
So we've just taken in-house uh, the manufacture of our idler rollers. So this is a CNC lathe that's uh, come in from uh, Japan, enables us to manufacture very, very high tolerance uh, idler rollers. Moving down through, this is kind of our sub-assembly and assembly area. So on the right hand side here, uh, these guys are putting together the sub-assemblies. So taking the small components that have been issued from stores and building up sub-assemblies. So there we have a, a carriage from a, a print head that's been assembled, uh, brake-free waste rewind, and on the shelves here you see loads of other small assemblies. Once the sub-assemblies have been assembled, they're being moved across to uh, this side of the factory where we then start to build up the complete print modules. And what we're doing here is we're completely assembling all print modules for a customer's machine. So this looks like a, an eight color FL5 machine that's getting pretty close to being complete. So these, these modules will be built up complete uh, before being moved across to the other side of the factory. So yeah, this is an FL5 machine, 510 millimeters wide. This will be a carton press. Over there you can also see we're um, building all our electro electrical control systems. Uh, there's some uh, a batch of cabinets that have come in here where we've got guys that are also populating those with, with components. There we go. So once we've built up, oh look at that, there's a decent sized servo motor from uh, one of our flatbed die cutters. Once we've built up the, um, the modules, the modules are then brought through to the next bay in our factory. Um, so the first machine we're going to come across here is, um, is a Digicon 3000. Uh, this is a uh, second order for a customer in the United States. So this is a 760 millimeter wide digital print finishing machine and it looks like at the moment it's just starting to go through its commissioning and test process. So this will be installed sitting alongside a HP Indigo uh, digital press and they've got, uh, what have they got here? Unwind Corona. Two flexo stations with UV and hot air drying. Uh, full sleeve technology, so sleeve analogs, sleeve plate roll, chambered uh, doctor blade system. Uh, comes through to a slitting module. Yeah, emergency stop. And then we have our variable length sheeting system. So this is a cam profile sheeter that then delivers sheets. Well, it's just a bit of paper coming off there, but that eventually will deliver cut sheets into a high pile stacker manufactured by one of our partners, NatGraph. So that's the Digicon 3000. Uh, what else are we doing here? There we go, we've got Dave here working away. Say hello, Dave. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, this is an FL1 Prime, so that's a 350 millimeter machine. So the completed modules have come through from the other hole. And now, like all our machines here, we build up the complete line at Edel, um, where we will then move on to testing and commissioning FAT prior to shipping. So this looks like it's an eight color FL1 Prime 350 with, I believe it will have LED drying on it. It also has semi-rochi die cutting uh, running into a dual rewind system. 
and they get FL1 Prime. We'll go past the Digicon again. Um, well, there's another Digicon there that's um, in a lesser state of completeness. So we won't look at that too much. Um, Yeah. There you go, it's a more simple Digicon, uh, but I'm going to move on because of the uh, noisy um, compressor behind. What else do we have happening in here? Oh, it's really tight for space here. But we have our third, third Digicon 3000 in the factory here. Um, this is quite difficult to show you but uh, this is quite a, a custom built uh, Digicon 3000 this will be actually specified for e-beam coating but it also has integrated um, coreless is that right not coreless shaftless unwinds and rewinds so this is a special special machine where the customer wanted shaftless unwinds and rewinds rather than a standard uh, air mandrels. What do we have here? We have, uh, this is modules waiting for integration uh, with a Canon label stream uh, digital print unit. So very shortly this will be integrated with the digital print unit. And you can see here that it's uh, going to be a hybrid press with two flexos. Digital print will be in that gap. Second flexo, semi-rotary die cutting, of auto set slitting, and a rewind. And you see difference here. This has got slightly different guarding and covers on it to, to match the uh, Canon branding. So that'll be a machine to be completed shortly. Uh, here we go. Another FL3. Uh, so this is a eight color FL3. With it, FL3 means it's, it's a 430 millimeter wide, eight colors. Like here we go, we've got the new GW Leo LED curing system. DLAM, RELAM, turn bar, cold foil. Oh, a second cold foil on this one. This will have, oh yeah, easy reg system on there. We've also got uh, our easy die system, quick change rotary die. We have an auto set slitter and we have a standard full rotary die sheeter on the end with a dual rewind. So that's quite a nice press. I can show you the back of this um, Digicom with the shaftless winders. So this is the sort of thing we do at EDL. This is the first time we've built such a, such a machine with shaftless winders. So it's pretty much a, a custom built machine. It's got a huge Enercon Corona Treater unwind coating unit. And that will be waiting for integration with a PCT e-beam curing system as well. Yeah, behind us here we have a flatbed die cutter nearing completion. A very popular EDL product at the moment. Um, we are probably manufacturing eight to ten flatbed die cutters a year at the moment. Uh, these are all integrated either offline uh, with digital presses or in line with our FL5 carton press. I'll be able to show you what a more complete one. Auto stacker. From our friends at uh, Reed Stack. And then we're just coming into EDL's demo area. So this is a new facility that we're just setting up really at the moment for our, our virtual demos. But in our demo area we have um, a complete FL5 510 carton line. Um, oh yeah, we've got Darren, our print manager. It's 
talking through it with somebody. Um, but the concept here is we have a complete press that we're using largely for online demos, running line in line with a flatbed die cutter. And we've got a bit of a customer experience area, which we're slowly setting up with, you know, plate keying, plate mounting, um, anilox cleaning. There will be um, an ink kitchen installed in this area so we can prepare our own Pantone colors. Uh, and then there'll be a sort of an Edel shop demonstrating, um, you know, as a sort of a display area for all the, all the products that our machines can produce. So I think uh, that's 15 minutes, that's probably enough of me twittering on. So thanks very much for listening.